Hi there, this is Justin. Sorry about the lighting uh, in this video. I'm in a co-working space at the moment. It's quite late. Um, I'm, you know, got my computer right in the front and as you can see behind me, the lighting isn't uh, too good, but you're not here to look at me. You're here to learn something interesting. So um, let's get into it. Uh, in this video, I want to give you a very quick um, introduction to this really cool uh, set of, I guess you call it products within the Google Cloud Platform um, suite that I think are, are very useful for analysts. So if you've been watching my videos for a while, you may know that I run analytics agency and you know we set up infrastructure for e-commerce clients as part of the services we provide. And you know part of that work involves, um, you know, setting up uh, ETLs to extract data out of different data sources and push them into a data warehouse. We then build dashboards on top of that data. Um, now, there's times where things break or tokens are, you know, need to be refreshed and stuff like this, and then data stops flowing. And often we hear about this from the client, uh, which isn't a great experience. Sorry about that. Um, so what I've been working on is finding a way to automate um, basically a check against the data and then let us know in um, Slack. So we do all the communication within Slack and the flow is based on a certain schedule, say once a day, we want to go into the database run a quick query, get a result, and then based on that result, you know, make a decision to send us a message or not. So, of course, you could, you know, set up a virtual machine and write, like, complex um, Python scripts, set up a cron job, and do that. Now, if you're not a software developer and, and kind of new to... Um, online world potentially you, you may not have no idea what i'm talking about and that's completely fine so anyway let's um let me show you what i've been playing with and then um you know i'll give you some some guidance on how you can explore this further so what you see in front of me is this is a channel i have in my project bi which is my agency in our slack account called justin sandbox this is just where i do all my tests and you can see here we've got incoming webhooks um, and we've got like all kinds of weird messages, right? These are like my tests. So anyway, the first product um, which is relevant uh, to this discussion is something called Cloud Functions. And the whole idea of Cloud Functions is that instead of having to deal with servers and, you know, complex stuff, what you can do is use the Cloud Functions uh, product to um, basically host, you know, you know, scripts in whatever language, not whatever, but you can see they have a lot of different languages here. Python is kind of the most standard one you would use for analytical stuff. And I'm not really a coder, to be honest, but I'm, I'm, I'm technical enough that I can kind of work out code. And Python is relatively easy to, to understand compared to um, other languages. So over probably 10 hours, to be honest. It took me a while, but uh, I enjoyed the challenge. I managed to develop the script in Python. A lot of searches on Google, a lot of trial and error um, that basically does the following. So I'm not gonna, this, this video is not aimed at teaching you Python, but I'll try and give you a sense of what I'm doing here. So there's a, there's a function that we've defined, just called email. Uh, it could be called anything. You can see with Cloud Functions, you need to give it an entry point. This is basically the the name of the function that it's going to try and run. Um, we bring in a whole bunch of, of you know libraries and stuff to help us. We set up a client um, relating to BigQuery. And you can see I've just been playing around with Query 1, Query 2. Um, you can see here going to... Um, you know, a certain project, looking at Asana, which is our task management, you know, just some data I have here. 
and then um, you know we we run the queries this is what this piece does um, we're looping through the results and then the next thing I did is and I didn't actually know this when I first started but it, it's it's a really useful thing is there's a service called SendGrid which is a very popular email um, I guess like an email provider you could call it um, an API like driven email service and you can sign up to SendGrid via Google Cloud Platform and it's really really easy just manage the entire thing through Google Cloud Platform and then you get 12,000 emails that you can send a month for free now for my testing and for our needs as an agency we, we won't get anywhere close to that um, so anyway you can get you can get the Python code that are needed to, that is needed to integrate with uh, SendGrid um, on their website, right? So once again, I'm, I'm the whole purpose of this video is to kind of show you that even someone like myself, I never studied computer science. I'm like pretty a uh, pretty basic understanding of of software development and code. Even I managed with uh, some brute forcing uh, a lot of Google searches and a lot of patience to. To, to develop the script um, and so just to continue you can see I've got this whole piece here that deals with um, taking the results of the queries that we ran earlier place them in you know an email and then sending the email to myself because I wanted to kind of work out if I could send first to an email before I could send to slack and I managed to do that um, then we have the slack integration also a lot of Google searches um, and I ended up finding by the way, I'll, I'll take I'll share this entire code um, in the in the description. Um, I think I can put in the description, but I think how would be the best way. But uh, check in the description either for a link or to to a file to download or just to be able to copy paste. Uh, see what I do. Um, so then anyway, we've got the you know we've we we set a variable in the environment for the webhook url um, and then i was kind of playing around with the the code um the json code to you know send different messages through to slack so anyway i'm not going to deploy this because it'll just take a while but it's 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 already there um and we've got uh this this um here you can see this is the the function um, it's got the region it's HTTP triggered so basically it means um, just send a, a get request to a, to the URL so they actually give you a URL uh, to trigger this right so essentially what cloud platform does now is it, it deploys what is ever needed um, it deploys what is needed in order for the script to run um, if you triggering it via whichever option you choose right in this case is http so that's a uh, cloud platform now, now what you can do which is really really cool is the second product is called cloud scheduler and this is essentially what you would call like um, a cron a cron job um, you know you could set up cron jobs you can see it over here so um, it's a job where based on a, a frequency that you choose um, it will run the the relevant script, right? So as I said around the beginning, we have a script. We want it to run, you know, once a day that checks you know, against data in the data warehouse and then will send us messages, right? So I'm just going to go ahead and turn this on. Uh, you can see you kind of need to learn... Um, the format for cron jobs but basically this means um every minute it's going to trigger it and you can kind of see the target is um the one we have you can see here it's gonna run um and let's just wait and see give it a minute hopefully it will trigger automatically it says it's failed okay so something is off that's a bit of a shame i wanted to kind of show you uh that it's it's run um force a job run 
I'm still kind of new to these products, to be honest. Not sure if it's going to work. So let's go in here for a second. Let's test. Let's test the function. Test the function. It was working when I tried it last. Okay, there we go. So it came through. For some reason, it's not working on the cloud scheduler. Uh, let's refresh it, see what happens. Maybe my frequency doesn't make sense. Let me do a quick check. Okay, let's do one, two, three, four, five. Okay, that should be every minute. So you can see here it got triggered um, when I tested it directly. So now what we're going to do is um, give it a, a minute and then hopefully it will be triggered automatically via the, the cloud scheduler, which right now is set to every minute. I think I said it previously incorrectly. Okay, it's failing again. Um, okay, I'm not going to investigate it right now. Uh, but yeah, so just to summarize, um, if you're interested in kind of expanding your capabilities as, of an, as an analyst and potentially set up some really cool automated um, alerts and checks against your database, I'm planning on building a really robust um, set of scripts which we can implement for our clients. And the whole idea is that starting out with just simple data freshness tests. So if something fails in the infrastructure, we can kind of know ahead of time. Um, but really, I want to expand that so that if certain KPIs, um, you know, there's movement in the KPIs that are significant, then we can um, get alerted automatically right get a message at slack that you know google analytics the say the number of sessions in the last seven days compared to the previous seven days has shifted you know negatively by more than 25 percent then you know let us know and then we'll get a message and the team and i can investigate further and um yeah it's an interesting concept that i'm going to be exploring uh, further in the near future so that's it. I hope you found this video uh, interesting. If you have any questions on this concept, um, you know, write in the comments below. Uh, I'll do my best to help where I can. And if I can't, then I'm sure there's people in the community that can jump in and help uh, answer some of your questions. So that's it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.